Now hear this, hear this. All students report to their assigned classrooms at 0800 hours. That is all for now. <laughs> so new year, Miss Lippman. New year means new students. New students means new rules and regulations that must be enforced. Yes, Mr. McMaster, sir? I said I love rules and regulations. You can can the daydreams about a singing career, Miss Lippman. The recruits are arriving. Let's go to work. Yes, sir. This is an awful way to end the summer. Yeah, you know, guys, my dad says he loved his school when he went here. I guess things have really changed with Mad Dog McMaster's in charge. This just McMaster's is the meanest man ever. Almost anybody would make a better principal than him. Yeah. Hey, Dad, what's shaking? Alvin! Alvin. Yeah. You guys are in luck. Our new concert for Lions. Hot off the brink. Hollywood Bowl? Sounds great, Alvin. That's all you want to do with your career. Oh, what do you mean? Oh. Well, Ronald Reagan was in movies, and he's the president today. You're already a superstar. Imagine what else you could be. Be serious. Ronnie was a governor before he became Mr. Big. Governors have to start somewhere. Yeah, usually as an outstanding community service. Like a principal or something. Hmm. Today the school, tomorrow the country. You, you know what I love more than anything else? Tell me. Control. I spent seven years trying to perfect this baby, and there isn't one single classroom in the whole school that I can't keep an eye on at all time. I love being the boss. Love it. Better not tell that to your boss. Who? Hetherington? That pussy cat? Why, let him just try to intimidate me once. Just once. Principal's office? Yes, Dr. Hetherington. He's right here. Hello? Hey, this is Dr. Hetherington. How are you today? Who, me? Oh, oh, uh, I, I'm fine. Have you heard of the new principal exchange program? Well, uh, no, uh, I, I can't say that I... Good. We'll be sending over our replacement for a while. Give the place a whole new look. Uh, you sound a little different today. Like a chipmunk. It's, uh, it's, uh, the cheap new telephone. <laughs> uh, we're losing the call. Just expect a new guy this morning. So far, perfect. Alvin, you're incredible. I am, aren't I? What's Alvin up to now? We need to rehearse. If I know Alvin, we'd better get in there fast. Hey, guys! Let's party! What is the idea? Hey, dude, you got the word. I'm your replacement. Your what? He said he's your new... I heard what he said. Good. And then you're expecting me, Miss... Littman, Mrs. Seville. Love your hair. It's a fashion risk, but it works. For you... Why, thank you. I'll be needing your help. We're making big changes around here. What about me? I've got the job for you. You can start down the hall. Chipmunk? I've been replaced by a chipmunk! But not for long. <laughs> Elvin goes back to school. Elvin goes back to school. So, uh, let's begin by opening up our books and... Miss Lippman. Good morning, Mr. Quick Study. Our new principal wanted you to have these new course outlines. New principal? That's right, Quick Study. From now on, you'll be teaching important stuff. The things it really wants to know about. The NBC Saturday morning lineup. Sure, Peach. Let's start with the most interesting subject of all. <laughs> Isn't 
be terrific. From now on, it's Saturday morning, seven days a week. Can you believe it? Alvin really is taking over the school. We'll see. I can just find my way to that power source. I can knock out that chipmunk's computer, and I can get my job back. Danger, do not touch the switch. That goes for you two, McMaster's Alvin Electric Company. That chipmunk thinks he can bluff me. I'll show him. <laughs> Now, in 1492, what significant event occurred that changed the entire way we live? Jeremy. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Excellent. How about 3,000 Mr. Seville, this is a history course. All right, I give up. What happens in 3,010? What is he talking about? Mr. Quick Study, I'm Jamie Jaron, and 3010 is the year I win the Laser Tag Championship. It's also the year my evil relative, Drax and Dreer, discovers the secrets of starlight power. And together we travel back in time to the present, and the adventures begin this Saturday morning in Laser Tag Academy. <laughs> I can just get into this air shaft. I can keep an eye on that classroom. Hey, Sparky, you missed a spot over there. We don't want any rusty buildup, do we? No, sir. What's he up to? Mr. Seville wants some pause on experience with the students in the classroom. Thinks it's good for morale. Pause on experience? <laughs> we'll see about that. This is common household vinegar. What we are attempting to do is to find something which will cause a reaction when mixed with it. Well, what about... Oh, that wouldn't give much of a reaction. Try to think of something common used for cooking. I know. Baking soda. Joey, you are absolutely right. Wow. Hey, what's this, Alvin? Smells pretty good. Do you know what it is, Mr. Quick Study? No, I have I haven't the slightest idea. I mean I I I Wait! This is a small label. It's gummy berry juice. What? Hey, look at Alvin! Oh my god! Kevin and I have plenty of them in our new season on NBC. So be sure to join us for all the high flying thrills and laughter. <laughs> is this great for what? It sure is great, Alvin. School's never been more fun. <laughs> Thank you for donating your music history collection to our school library. 
Uh, excuse me, kid. My name is Mark Price. I'm a cub reporter for the Sunnyside Sentinel. Yeah. I was wondering if you could introduce me to your new principal. Sure thing. Hey, Alvin, there's some reporter here to see you. Just have a day and a job, and the press is already after me. At this rate, I'll be president by the end of the week. President? <laughs> I think I found my angle. Uh, the Republicans have an elephant, the Democrats have a donkey, and the kids have a chipmunk. Oh, Mr. Savelle, it's an honor to meet you. You know, I read your autobiography, Old Buck Teeth is Back. Left me in tears. Thanks, kid. Uh, do you think you'd be available for a photo session a little later this afternoon? Absolutely. I have your machine called my machine. We'll do lunch. Do lunch. See, I'm doing a story here about your new video library. Uh, you think you can show me your favorite selection? Thought you'd never ask. Kid video? Now that's really new. How did that get in here? Baby, don't leave me. Oh, please don't leave me. All by myself. Alvin's taking this principal business much more seriously than we thought. Yeah, and the kids love him. But without him in our music group, we're ruined. Alvin goes back to school. We'll return after the evening. Try again, Punky. Incorrect calculation. Incorrect calculation. Wrong again. I give up. Math's just too darn hard. You know, Mr. Seville, I've always dreamt of being a torch singer. I just know I've got it in me. Uh, sure, babe. You're a natural. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget. Forget the feelings, babe. I'm trying to help Punky with her studies. The way to get the kid involved is to put her right into the picture. Hey, Pookie, here's a subject I think you'll really relate to. Whoa! Oh, hey, the storm is hampering the rescue efforts of this unidentified young girl. <laughs> Brandon, not now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Punky. Come on, Brandon. We'll get our Punky back. Hang on, Mac. This is as far as you go. But that's my daughter. Oh, Henry. Thank goodness. Just hurry. Ah! Everything's all right, Punky. Assembly schedule for today. Quiet down, my little Smurfs. Time is of the essence. Five hundred years ago, Grandpa set out on a very important mission. And in Smurf Quest, our new adventure, Grandpa comes back to Smurf Village. We join him aboard a magic boat to the four corners of the earth. In search of the secrets that will save Smurf Village from destruction. Lots of smurfy excitement in store. We'll be dropping in on you this Saturday. <laughs> Holy cow, I'd like to see how that thing ends. What am I talking about? I gotta get that chipmunk. <laughs> What'd she say? I think she likes them. Oh, c'est bon, oui. <gasps> oh, très chic. Yes, oui, oui, oui. <laughs> oh, très joli. Oh, my dears, in all my years of art instruction, I have never seen such bel objet d'art. 
or shoeboxes. Oh, no, mon cher. They're not just shoeboxes, but little delicate worlds reflective of each artiste. Oh, brother. What's this? I don't know. I think Alvin left it here. Gus, you're a regular genius. That's my dad. And these are some of our friends. You'll meet them all in the swamp. There's Miss Emmy. Show me the tortoise. Gus, my dad. Dwayne and Two. Fanny Bunny. Swine Jolene. The Cackle Sisters. Oh, Lenny. <laughs> oh, and me, Kizzy Fur. Don't miss us. Hey, those old suckers are kicking the pants. <laughs> Oh, you've completely outdone yourself this time, Mad Dog. That stupid ship won't go fall for this disguise. I'll have my job back before the day is out. Oh, Dr. Hellraiser, we weren't expecting you. Take us up, Chip Monk. I want McMasters at the helm immediately. What you are doing is unthinkable. You're having a good time, and you're getting the kids to like you. My district is not run that way. Principal's office? Dr. Hetherington? But that's impossible. You're standing right here. He wants to speak with you. He, 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 uh, he what? Hello? Yes, sir? Oh, oh, no, sir. Just having fun. That's all. That's all I was, sir. Just fun. Uh, I promise it won't happen again. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Okay. You win. I've been out boxed by a chipmunk. The school is yours. All yours. Gee, I've never seen him so unhappy. I never meant to hurt his feelings. All right, now, listen up, friends. If any of you have plans for the military, you better start practicing right now. Always pleased to be ready when your country calls. Oh, boy. No talking in the ranks. Now this is a scale model of the famous Berlinger Obstacle Course. First put into operation in World War II. You get through this, you get through life. Who put this doghouse on my course? There is no doghouse on the official Berlinger course. Hey, hey, hey. I wouldn't go moving that dog house if I were you. Whoa, got another house on the move. Our old house on Gregory Street. My friends and I don't take it lying down, though. Hey, it's definitely not cool when a cat can't land on his four feet. We gotta stop them until Uncle Pooper brings his escrow. Come on! That's it. Uh, bring the other end up now. Don't miss the fun when we teach the moving men a thing or two about animal behavior. There's lots of laughter in store with me, Pooper, and all the gang. Oh, no! Not more! Not the animals! Run for it! So be there with us every Saturday morning. <laughs> not a bad addition to the course. Now, I want the first half of you kids to take it on through! Even thank me when I gave him a towel. Yeah, can you believe it? He did the whole off 
impossible course, just like one of us kids, and he loved it. You know, he even said if he got his old job back, he'd get rid of the control station. You know, maybe he isn't such a bad guy after all. <laughs> He's upset. It seems we've lost our brother to higher education. You mean you guys are a group anymore? <laughs> Not if Alvin stays your principal. This is terrible. Alvin really belongs on Saturday morning. But he'll never give up his principal job. Unless... Hey, I've got an idea. Simon and Theodore, famous duet. Rehearsing for tonight's concert. Concert? We'll see about that. What's the big idea? The idea is that the show must go on, with or without you. Who said I didn't want to be in the group? Well, you can't run a school and be in a famous singing group at the same time. But I can't let the kids down. They love me as their principal. We do. You're terrific principal. Look, we had a great time today. Yeah, but we already had a principal. And besides, there's only one Alvin Seville. Superstar. You're right, kids. I know it's a big disappointment. But McMaster's needs his job. And the world needs me. I can always go into politics later. <laughs> Alvin goes back to school. We'll return. Alvin, I want to wish you the very best of luck. We're all going to miss you around here. Thanks, Peach. But you can still catch me and all my friends on NBC Saturday morning. Yeah. We'll be watching for you, Alvin. Smart kid. You'll go far. Keep working on that voice, babe. You'll be headlining in no time. Oh. I love you. You're beautiful. Don't ever change. Next Family Ties, Scott Valentine is taking it home in a hilarious comedy. And the heat is on a hot Miami vice when a Colombian kingpin has Crockett marked for death. Then on Fast Copy, get to know the Cosby Kids, Phil Collins, Genesis, and more on Fast Copy. And remember, Easy Street premieres tomorrow night right after The Golden Girls.